just landed in the Philippines airport in Manila. So here's my bag. My new Hoka's, which I wore just because I needed to. Like a little mirror. And that's me. Look at this place. It's got a nice little like separate wash. It's got a, a separate shower. Oh my God, it's got a bathtub? Fuck yeah, for those baths. It's me, again. The double sinks, of course. You got some free bath towels. Like this place is so nice. Just literally look at this. I have a fucking closet and my closet had seating space. Like, oh, are we gonna need to, to sit? It's fucking nuts. Also, I'm currently pantsless right now because it's so fucking hot in the Philippines. I've turned the AC down to 68, but this is like the, one of the nicest hotel rooms I've ever been in. And they give us a, a nice little like package, including a water canteen, sorry, and mangoes. And look, I've been eating this. This is dried mango. These are actually awesome. This vlog is literally just gonna be me eating food. I'm not even kidding. And these <laughs> minion dried mangoes, I fucking love dried food. This is actually so awesome. That's my room. You'll see none of this. I will not be here except for when sleeping. But when I am sleeping, I'm gonna feel like a god. And then we're kind of staying in the middle right now. And then we're gonna go over to Borcane in a couple days. So uh, tune in. I'll hopefully show you guys a shitload of great food. All right, my first meal, meal, meal in Manila. I'm not gonna lie, I ordered with my, with my fucking eyes and not my stomach. I didn't really eat much, okay, coming off the plane. I got kanji, looks like some egg, Chinese style egg and shredded chicken and some, I think pork. And there's Hai, Hainan chicken with a bunch of add-ons here. And so I'm, I think it's a soup, right? That's gotta be a soup. Oh my God, yes. Yeah, it's not Hainan chicken without the soup, you know? Um, okay, hold up. Let me see how I do this. Editor, cut this part out. Okay, this angle looks terrible. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm trying out the kanji first. Hmm. To be fair, I want to mix it up a little bit. Kind of hard to mess up kanji. Then there's the high end chicken. Look at this. Ooh, juicy. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I was just wanting a little bit more flavor, but honestly, pretty fucking good. I am, dude, for, for hotel food, for room service, I am very happy. And honestly, there's gonna be a lot of other food coming up. How is there rice here? The no, rice can't be bad. Well, that's a normal rice, man. Oh. This is like the equivalent of like chicken noodle soup. But I would like the the Asian version. Honey chicken soup is so nice. It's very light, but still very flavorful. It actually, uh, it's surprisingly good. One last look at the meal before I eat, eat it. Uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm at my free breakfast buffet. And this is literally on par with Vegas buffets. Like, get dosa, dita palm. Like, just let me show you. It is just fucking wild. What? If there's even a dietary legend? Like, that's awesome. It's like an open kitchen setup where all the stuff is done in the middle, and on the outside is all the food. And it just stretches all the way down. There's even an egg station where you can ask for whatever you want. I got some rice and some longanisa so far, which is uh, sausage like, I guess. Okay, well, I have an omelet coming to my table. But look, there's even more pastries. I really want some bread. I really got the most basic breakfast ever because, I don't know, this is the stuff that was just appealing to me. Two croissants, some longanisa. I have an omelet coming with ham, uh, some rice, and then this is uh, watermelon juice. First we try, yeah, I try these. Mm, very flavorful. That's probably gonna be my most boring meal because I'm just very simple right now. You know what, simple's good. The shot, the flavor is a little bit off in the middle. I would say a little bit bland, but overall, the texture's good. <laughs> it's just, it's just a very classic breakfast. The ham, onion, pancake, or omelet. Very normal omelet. Here, hold on, I'm gonna eat this thing. Nothing beats eggs, rice for breakfast, I swear to God. Delicious. But like, the last thing you can't forget is dessert. 
I have, I got like a, that, the, the sapin sapin in the puto. I love coconut and I love yube. So it's like obviously like a amazing dish. I got some bread and then some pork buns and I'm done. Cause this is all, I can't eat anymore. I'm gonna fucking explode. We're here outside Jollibee and we're gonna try everything on the menu. They booked out the entire second floor for all of us. And this guy's also vlogging and he's saying the exact same thing as me, bitch. Birthday party for Broden. It's, it's, it's his fucky birthday here in the Philippines and Toast surprised him. Oh, wait, there, there's a little kid's decorations. It's a Broden's party, man. Oh my god, my phone's going crazy. Okay. Let's go, Peter. Okay. It's a tuna pie, it's chicken and spaghetti, and I see the most uncomfortable camera angle another man. Oh, the tuna pie is pretty good. Fried chicken's really good, actually. But the fried chicken's so good. The chicken and gravy are so is sick. I've heard legends of this spaghetti, but I've heard it's sweet, and I hate sweet spaghetti. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, it's nice. It's a little sweet, but very tasty. Best thing so far, iced tea, unironically. Chicken and gravy, and then I like a tuna and a spider split, and I have this a burger. Oh, the one is soft. It's pretty good. Oh, I like with this. It's pretty fucking good. Above this goes above the tuna. It's just awesome. Fries. Maybe a little bit better. All right, it's the peach mango pie. Everywhere. Oh, it's, it's not as sweet as I thought. It's pretty good. I don't like things that are too sweet. Honestly, I like it. Above, above the spaghetti. It looks really interesting. Soft serve with, uh, yeah, soft serve with, with grass jelly on top. It's really nice. I think I just love soft serve. I give this um, above the spaghetti. <laughs> There's this vermicelli with beef and egg and ham. Oh, it's good. It's got a very sharp flavor though. If you don't like the like shrimp flavor, it's a little sharp. But I like it. Above the spaghetti. All right, final rating: spaghetti, tuna, burger, mango pie, fries, chicken, and then the tea. It's my favorite in that order. Overall, pretty good. How do I ask for ice tea? Uh, where do I grab one? Oh my god. Yo, my favorite 
favorite guy is that one. What? The the structure of the, of the mall is insane. Guys, I'm here to get a haircut. I'm not even kidding, so I'm looking for one. I'm in a haircut salon in the mall, and I'm trying to get stuff trimmed down, so hopefully it, by the end of the day, they'll be trimmed. So my haircut came out okay, honestly. I had like a 15 minute head massage and a back massage, and it cost like 30 bucks total, which I think is really expensive here, but like, yeah, I feel pretty good. <laughs> We're in this mall nearby uh, our hotel. We're burning some time until we have a mixer later tonight. It's happy living. I can love this place. It's looking bomb. This is a Yakult lemon Yakult smoothie. Jumbo cost me $3. But any jumbo drink apparently also gives you one of three limited edition drinks. It's a pineapple green tea for $0. So I got two drinks for three bucks, which is Damn good steal. You cold smoothing. Pretty good. I don't know if I like it that much. It's very occulty. I thought it would be less. Ooh, this is Kuni Kuni. Fully book. Kuno Kunia. It's a famous book and stationery store. And I'm really excited because I, I heard there's Japanese stationery stuff that's really. Oh my god, wait a sec. There's Lightning McQueen. Good show. There's a certain pen I want that won the uh, 2023 award for being sick in this national stationery contest in Japan. I wonder if they're here. I'm gonna go look around for it. Oh, it's Japanese manga, look at this. Oh shit, I actually know all of these. Oh, a lot of them. Aoshi? Oshinoko, I mean. I, I don't know. No, it's not. I'm, fucking, I'm a fucking fraud. Wow, a lot of these are actually out of my out of my specialty. Oh, Tokyo Revengers. Okay, that's not the stationery. Hold on, I need to look for it. Well, we're currently walking in, I, it's not the business center, their district. I don't know where this district is called. I just got out of the mall and we're really close to uh, our hotel, which is the Grand Hyatt. I was told that this is like the second nicest hotel in the area or something and it fucking shows. Like, holy shit, it is nice. Um, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out my Google Maps and see where it is. This is the ground floor of our hotel, and it doesn't it? It's just like strikingly beautiful. Like what a free, like literally wallpaper fucking background. Guys, this is legend. It's in a fucking box. And they cut it. That's fucking crazy. Oh, that smells. Wow. Toast. Claim your Filipino heritage. Oh, God. this looks incredible. This is lechon. Came from that. I don't even know how to eat this, man. Just this is just the skim. Oh, crispy. I think they're supposed to be the sauce. Oh, this is uh, vinegar. Yeah. Is that good or bad? It's good. It's good. It's good. This. This is like too much. Oh, it's better with the vinegar. The vinegar is great. It's way better with the vinegar. Wow, delectable. You can you can taste how fatty it is. The, the, the fat has a flavor and it's delicious. It has a little bit of spice and kick to it. It's, the vinegar just makes it awesome. This is a scar. I have no idea what's in it. <laughs> That's tasty as hell! I'm gonna, good, I'm gonna have a good time tonight. The owner of the bar has this on the menu. It is bone marrow kimchi rice. The fattiness of the bone marrow complements the rice so well. Anything fatty goes so well with rice. Kimchi rice too has great flavor. Alright, look, we're all out. It's 9 p.m. and we're at close to the red light district, which is where I'm definitely not doing anything weird. Fashion, food, plus love. Yeah. I think it's a brothel. I hope so. Are we going? Yeah. I, I got this balloon. I, I think it's a children's show balloon. But he looks awesome. Feeling very present right now. Shit, I, 
I could be Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Dressing room three hours before I met. This is the backstage. We're here in the Philippines for a fan event, and this is this stadium fits 1800 people, and we're warming up. They got the music for us. We're getting mic'd up. We're all working a row. There are a lot of people. So that's over here, 1800. <laughs> We're at the meet and greet at the very end of the event, and the event was unprecedentedly unforgettable. The support was insane. Nice and toast. Nice to get to see. Danny, Peter, we finished our meet and greet. It took three hours, two and a half hours. It was two and a half hours. And there's still this much left. Dude, look at this. These are just suitcases full of gifts for every everyone. This one is just toast. These two are for everyone else, including. <laughs> It is a ridiculous amount of gifts. Look at the back of this, man. Someone reprinted my VTuber. And isn't this the sickest thing ever? What the hell? We're currently in the Manila airports on our way to Boracay. I'm sweaty every single day here. And you see over here, that's my group, my homies, Jody with the green, cute cat, there's Aline, there's Peter, and then there's Julia, and then there's fucking Danny, and then there's, there's everyone. We're on the way, and I'm really excited because I'm, I've honestly eaten too much Jollibee because we were busy for work and it was a sponsor, so now I'm ready for some good ass fucking food. We're gonna jump out of this car, get on the motorcycle, jump off that and get on a horse. The horse is going to take us. It's actually a seahorse. Seahorse is going to take us over the lake, hop onto a jet ski mid-flight, transfer the suitcase containing plutonium to the guy. So we have enough money to stay at the resort. What the freak you tell me? And then we... <coughs> and then we paraglide to the hotel. We're at Boracay and we're meet, we went on a bus and now we're going in a boat. Okay, room with Peter. This is my bed. Look at the music, man. I feel like I'm about to fucking be in a movie. Shower, obviously. Toilet. Me. Bathtub. And the great outdoors. Peter, can you explain where we are? Don't even look at me. Where are we? I think we're in the Philippines. <laughs> you fucker. Alright, we're at the poolside bar one of the four or five restaurants on the site. And it, honestly, it looks amazing. That looks good too. I was gonna, I was thinking about that. Look at my drink. <laughs> Peter, what do you bring? Mango liquor, <laughs> cocktail. I'm chilling on the beach, had a great meal. And my friends are all on the beach, have a good time. And I am Fukumud and chillin'. I'll probably join them in a little bit, but for now, I'm relaxing. Work high is essentially a vacation for all of us. It's definitely a good time for me to relax and kind of take in the tropics on probably swimming, uh, riding banana boats, and eating great seafood while I'm out here. But um, I don't know if this is the end of the vlog, but that's definitely just a uh, set you up for preparation. Sun is setting. We're walking on one of the, inside for a guy. Uh, we're on the beach today, I think. I'm fucking sweating. Look at the fit. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're walking to the beach. Wait, there's literally palm trees inside this beach. This is uh, for a guy. It's fucking unreal. There are palm trees, restaurants, and bars all the way on this strip of land and the the sand has like no seashells super fine 
not grainy at all. Look at the water. Holy shit. Uh, Found a random like restaurant. Ordered a bunch of things. Oh, cheese, Louise. Sissig, it's so good. Do you want to know how bad I got burnt, sunburned here? Do you see this? This? It's just all burnt on my shoulders. It's actually crazy. <laughs> I'm currently on the private resort pool, which only goes four feet. And this is the beautiful sunset, which I see every day. I haven't vlogged a lot about uh, Boracay, but it's honestly been pretty magical. I slept in, I've been to two spas, and uh, I get to end on this every day. Over here on the right side of the resort, next to the pool, there's just hammocks. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna fall. Oh, 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 I'm falling. Oh, I'm gonna close my camera before I fall. We're on our way to go on a UFO. What is this? Like a man made fucking. What a crazy fucking thing, man. What a crazy fucking thing. You got dropped off from a boat onto a boat where we're gonna eventually take a UFO. Kind of like these banana boats. It's like five people and you just get dragged along by a gigantic boat and gr grip for your life, which sounds hilarious. One hour later. The UFO was, sorry for not shaving, the UFO was crazy. I held on to the like to the things onto the aircraft of the UFO so hard I got tore my skin off they were going so fast it looks really slow from far away but when you're on it you're literally fighting for your fucking life like you go airborne side to side I thought I was gonna like slip I thought Sid was gonna go fly off it was pretty fun though <laughs> like me man I don't think I can do it again that. oh they're all on the way back look at them I did not take the banana boat and Shirley is over there because she fell off. <laughs> oh shit. It's the last night. I'm on a hammock right now. Um, it's 9 p.m. I'm kind of thinking about the trip. I honestly didn't have enough, a chance to get a lot of good food and I really am sorry about that. To myself, not to you guys. I love food. I travel for food. I wasn't able to eat a lot. Alternatively, this is my first tropical resort. My first resort ever, and my first tropics vacation ever. I had a really great time, and I would come back to the Philippines again, absolutely. I'd like to be able to, I feel like I got a really curated tour of the Philippines. We were at like a really bougie ass resort, and we were at like a bougie ass hotel in Manila, and I really want to get like a more gritty version. Uh, stuff where I don't spend a lot of money, I get a lot of great food, and I meet a lot of uh, great people, and the vibes are really great. And I think I got some of that this trip, but I would have liked a little bit more. It has been an overwhelming country in terms of support and just in general. I hope you guys enjoyed the Philippines and I hope to give a lot of different travel to you guys. I will spoil some of this stuff because the last part of vlogging, no one really makes it here, right? Um, I'm traveling at least four times this year. Places are gonna be San Francisco, China, Korea, uh, Las Vegas, and one more I can't disclose yet. So five times? So expect a lot of vlogs. Anyways, good night guys. <laughs>